My name is Dennis Tebow. I'm the Vice President of Forestry and a California Registered Professional Forester. As a company, we're in the business of growing trees. The sustainable harvest of trees is only one step in our sustainable forest management. We very much focus on the growing of trees and not the harvest of trees. When I'm out in the forest, I spend most of my time looking at the areas where we've been and not the areas where we're going. I'm looking at those areas where we've been to see, do we have enough trees left behind? What are the species of the trees that we've left behind? Are there too many of them? Are there too few of them? Do they have enough sunlight? Do they have enough water available to them? As part of practicing sustainable forestry, when we do a harvest, we leave behind enough redwood and Douglas fir, or we plant enough redwood and Douglas fir, for it to grow into a mature forest again. That room we call growing space, and tan oak has a natural ability to take more than its fair share of the growing space. So when you conduct a harvest and the forest grows back without any tan oak treatment, the forest that grows back is gonna be heavier to tan oak than the forest you started in. If you repeat this process a few times, you end up with a forest that has a lot of tan oak in it and some scattered redwood and Douglas fir trees. And these are really the forests that we've inherited today. Unfortunately, this tan oak has little commercial value. To treat that tan oak will come at a cost. Our company was founded on the principle of practicing exceptional forest stewardship while at the same time being a successful business. So we're committed to not just maintaining these forests in their current condition, but restoring them through a variety of treatments, including the treatment of tan oak, to be mature redwood and Douglas fir forests again in the future. Again, what we leave behind becomes the forest of the future, and we're committed to leaving behind healthy redwood and Douglas fir forests for generations to come.